What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol back with another video today. Hot Toys Death Trooper from The Mandalorian. Let's open it up. That's right guys, we're back with another video today. The unboxing that honestly this has been here for about it's been here for about a week or so, and uh, it's time to open it up. I've got the Hot Toys Death Trooper from the Mandalorian TV show, or Disney Plus show, and I am, um, I, I need your help. I need your help. Uh, and this is what I'm, I'm thinking here. Uh, after we unbox this, we'll pose it up and have some fun with it. I'm think I have currently have the Death Trooper Specialist from uh, Rogue One. I've got that one, I had it since it came out years ago. Um, and I've got this guy. I'm considering picking up a second Death Trooper. So maybe somewhere in this video we can figure, figure out if, if that needs to happen or not. I don't know. I was thinking it'd be cool to have a specialist and then maybe two grunts behind it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But let's go ahead and, and open it up and uh, see what we got. All right, guys. Here's the box. Check this out. This is actually a pretty good looking box, just like any other Star Wars box. We got this awesome photo of the actual figure. We got this awesome orange little band we got going around here. TMS. 013 death trooper right there death trooper on the back and uh, there's all your whodunits if anybody is really wanting to read all that you can now I i'm got a little experience with death troopers obviously having the uh rogue one specialist deluxe with the uh the doll the stormtrooper doll which is super cool uh so the fact that they actually re-release -re these things and allow people to get them at a decent price is pretty cool and i'd love to hear from you guys what are your thoughts on all the hot toys reissues re-releases uh, we certainly obviously have this guy. We've got uh, the uh, Iron Man Mark V, which was the most recent announcement. And I predict we're going to see some uh, some other reissues, maybe even this week. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If you think you might have a guess as to what it might be, throw it down in the comment section down below. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this guy up. I mean, I, I, I somewhat might have an idea but uh, maybe somebody will actually guess it. Okay, so uh, I'm actually super excited about this because it has a different uh, rifle than my Specialist Deluxe came with. And this is the rifle I'm talking about. I don't have this with uh, my Specialist Deluxe and I like it. I love this little burnt fire stuff they got going on here. Oh, the little movable stock. That's nice. I dig that. I dig that quite a lot, actually. That's a pretty cool looking brick. I, I, I like it when they have these little uh, slings on there because it adds some more posing options. Uh, so I'm, I'm down with that. And then let's see, does this piece right here, does this move? Obviously I haven't read the instructions on this thing, uh, but I'm gonna say that doesn't actually move. Does it? Oh man, do I break it right here on camera? No, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but uh, yeah, I dig this. I don't know if that moves or not. But anyways, there's, there's the rifle. I guess I can take a look at the instructions. Pretty cool. Uh, we do have this other blaster, which we've seen a number of times, and uh, I'm just as happy to keep seeing it. Although this one looks a little more weathered than the other ones I have in the collection. And I could be, be misreading or misremembering, but this one looks like it's got a lot more weathering and, and silver wash uh, than some of the other ones I've got. For example, like K2SO, uh, and, and even the other uh, trooper, the other death trooper. So. I don't know if that's a little different. I guess we can compare it just a little bit. Uh, we have some batteries for a light up function on the uh, head. I don't know if we're actually gonna use that or not. Those batteries aren't really all that difficult. It's not like fighting with an Iron Man figure. We're gonna get a pile of hands. Let's see if we can't get all these guys out of here. It's so shiny. This is like one of those figures that you wanna wear gloves with so you don't get all the fingerprints going on. Uh, but clearly we're, we're not doing that. Uh, we are gonna have, as expected, a right hand fist. We're gonna have a left hand fist. Look at that high gloss. That is crazy cool. One of the reasons why Death Troopers are just one of the coolest uh, figures in the collections for a lot of people. Uh, we're gonna have a little waving, gesturing hand. Take that on the left hand. And we're gonna have, looks like a right and a left uh, weapon holding hand. So we're gonna have one of those depending on, if you might want to be double wielding. Might have a rifle in one and blaster in the other. Uh, and then we've got, Ooh, a little communicator or uh, let's see what else it comes with. Uh, but a little, yeah, a little hand like that. What's that for? I want to find out what the accessories in here. But I'm thinking this is like, um, they had a, like a little detonator. I'm not sure what that hand's for. I'll have to figure that out. And then uh, we got another one for the left hand. So we got a right and left version of that. Interesting. Let's see what that's all about. And holy gloss, Batman. Like literally that could be like Stormtrooper Batman. 
Except it's way better because it's Star Wars. That thing, I, I hate to even take it out of the box. It's so shiny. Look at all the highlights and stuff. Woo. Batteries. Let's get you guys out of here. All right, we're going to do this. Oh, I'm so stoked for this. What, all right, so I asked you a question earlier. Do we get a second one? Uh, I'm, I'm really thinking we, I'm thinking we got to. Man, God, I love Stormtroopers. Look at this thing. That is absolutely just flipping glorious. I am so happy they reissued these for the Mandalorian because I always wanted to have more. And when I started collecting, uh, I bought the Specialist Deluxe because it had the coolest stuff and pouches and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, mainly because it came with the Stormtrooper doll. And uh, I always wanted to get more and then they were sold out and it is what it is. But holy crap, this thing is gorgeous. Whew. All right, we're gonna put you to the side. We're gonna get all that plastic stuff off in just a second. Uh, we do have a normal Star Wars base so nothing fancy going on right there it just says death trooper right there so that's cool crotch grabber all right that's it that's all this in here that baffles me what the heck these weapons are for or i'm sorry these hands i'm, I'm really baffled by what these hands are for but i guess i'll figure something out uh i don't know i'll figure it out let me get all this plastic stuff off and uh we'll be right back all right, so I actually broke out the instructions because I'm trying to figure out what the heck this hand is for. And he here's the instructions. Like there's one page and there's the like whodunit stuff. And then on the, here's how to install the batteries uh, on the figure. So maybe he holds the battery. I don't know, man. All right, I've got everything off, got the plastic off. And I have decided, I've come to a conclusion as to what the heck this hand is for, okay? Because it obviously can't hold the weapon. So here's what I've decided. This is to hold the sling part of this if you've got it thrown over his shoulder. That's the be that's what I came that's the conclusion I came to. So uh, it made sense to me. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts down below, but I uh, will take a quick look at this rifle one more time for you guys if in case you missed it. We do have a, a movable stock, which this feels somewhat flimsy like that's that's kind of dangerous. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not. Um, it's not like other weapons like we see with Deadpool where the, uh, you know, these pieces come off and, and, but you know, that's okay. But I do like the detail. I love this gradient from the, the silver to the black and this nice little silver line they've got going down there. This thing's seen some battle. Love the red. This is a cool piece. I, and I'm, I'm happy with this because this uh, particular rifle uh, didn't come with, uh, the specialist deluxe. Uh, this one we already looked at once, but just give you guys a quick look at it one more time. Super cool piece. We've seen this a lot of times with stormtroopers and remnant troopers. And in fact, I've got a I've got a remnant trooper right here. I just happen to have this, and I am 100% right. This oh, here, look. I have. Let me take this guy out of his hand. I am not crazy. I literally just took his hand off. Um, here is the remnant trooper, and then there's this one. This different paint. Like it's it's definitely different paint. This is the death trooper one. This is the remnant trooper one. I guess I can take the actual hand off. Um, but there's definitely, I knew I, I knew, I didn't think I was crazy. I mean, I might be, but that's different, right? I think so. Yeah, you see it right here in the back of this, uh, right here in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see, I don't want crazy. Get out of here, guys. All right, so uh, there's that. The hands we already looked at, the toy base we already looked at. Let's take a look at the figure. This thing is just, it's just glorious. I mean, there's a reason Death Trooper is one of the favorite uh, troopers or actually figures to collect in, in all of uh, Star Wars. And it's because of the design. It was such an iconic design uh, right off the bat. And it is just beautiful. And look at how that light bounces off this thing. All the little details and the crisp lines uh, on the shoulder armor right here. All this stuff going on. Oh, I mean, look at this. Look at all the ribbed undersuit, the rib pants. The, the dirt and grime that's deep in here. That's cool. I like the hell out of this. Guys, I need a, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to this. I need another one. I need the specialist up front with two of these guys uh, running up uh, behind. Oh, shoot. I love that it's a slim, now, so I'll break out the specialist deluxe here in a minute. The specialist deluxe have all that all chest piece and all just very bulky. Uh, this guy has what appears to be the same clips used on the specialist deluxe um that just doesn't have the attachments on it so i dig that i love the little silver touches love this absolutely love this that's gorgeous 
Uh, we do have some dirt and grime down here in these uh, in these seams. So it is not perfectly clean. It has definitely seen some battle. There's grime and dirt uh, going on here. It's like a sand, uh, light brown color. And uh, there's that. This part I don't like. Uh, this little loop here that's for the uh, rifle or the pistol, these are just, these just break. I mean, just be careful with yours. The, the little, um, it looks like it's magnet. Yeah, this is two magnets and that magnet will absolutely come unglued. I can already, yeah. Okay. On this, okay. So there's a magnet on this little piece right here and this will come unglued uh, and go from there. So if you're gonna put anything in there, leave it and uh, just be careful with it. Cause if it does come unglued, glue it back. Uh, but this is beautiful. Look at this thing, holy cow. Now, I did get this one from Collector's Own. Uh, if you want to check them out, I believe this figure is actually sold out with them, but they do have other issue, uh, figures you can pre-order if you want. Uh, you can use my discount code PATROL and uh, save you some money there if you like, but that is where I picked up this figure. And I uh, love this little silver belt buckle. All right, let's see. Now, one of the issues we had with the Death Trooper Specialist with, with all that stuff, it was the articulation and range of motion. Uh, and part of this is it's got a little bit of, it's a rubber undersuit. This is not like your normal... Like a Return of the Jedi or classic Stormtrooper, that, uh, the cloth suit, or even the Clone Wars figures, the Cody and whatnot. This is a rubber undersuit. However, I was able to actually get some pretty good poses out of this Specialist Deluxe. So uh, let's just see what it'll do here. Uh, range of motion on the head. Let's see what we're gonna get. We're gonna get anything crazy. I've got ball joint there. There we go. Let's see how far can he look. He's gonna look down about that much. He's gonna look back. Oh, he's not gonna look back. Okay, so he's not gonna look up all that much. But he's probably, he's like seven foot tall, so he's probably not gonna look up anyways. Um, this right here, let's see if we can get this, let's go up here. And you can, this is actually, all right, so under the undersuit, is actually two different undersuits. There's rubber here, and this is a fabric material right here. So that's a lot more forgiving than this rubber stuff. But that's not bad. You're gonna have a double joint, uh, double bend on the elbow, Plenty of been there for anything you want to do pose wise. Um, this will crease over time. If you leave this rubber stuff in a crazy bend, uh, it will crease over time. Uh, that may be a thing for you, may not. Uh, just depends on uh, how you like to pose your figures. Rotation wise, that's ridiculous. Like that's just silly. All right. <laughs> there is no limitations on that whatsoever. That is cool. Uh, I will show you this. Let me find one thing here, actually. Uh, where did I put that? I don't even know. Yes, you, I need this. Uh, I will show you this. I actually have to turn my light off for this. It does have a battery function in the head. You pop that off, put those little watch batteries in there and it does flip the switch right there. There we go. And uh, there it goes and I'll kill this light. There we go. And you can kind of see what it does there. So we've got a light up function here. Uh, we got a light up function down here these little green deals so that's pretty much what we got so there you go and you're seeing a little reflection from the other light i have on but uh light up here light up down at the bottom and there you go they're not super bright uh, but they are there if you want to use them so there we go and obviously if you turn the light back on you can't see them at all so we'll flip that back off it's not a feature i use in my collection because they're just not bright enough to even notice but it's cool that they're there they are super green on the lenses. And uh, I don't recall the Rogue One uh, version being that, that green, so we'll, we'll have to check that out. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what articulation got. Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Ah! Like that's not, that's not bad. All this stuff, like this is a separate piece, this is a separate piece. I think we're gonna get pretty good range of motion out of this guy. But now I will tell you, he's not gonna do any ab crunches. Like that, that ain't happening, guys. Um, you can go side to side, but forward ab crunches, that's not gonna happen because this armor's gonna hit this armor. But that's okay. That's all right. And then down below, let's see what kind of range of motion we get on this leg. It does have that rubber, well, yeah, it's a rubber padded suit. Get out of here, arm. Rubber padded suit right here. So we're gonna be mindful of that. You can see it kind of bunching up right there already. So make sure you move the armor plate out of the way. But that's pretty good for a trooper. And then back. Now back's gonna hit this plate right here. Get out of your hand. Uh, back's gonna hit this plate right here. But that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Double joint at the knees, plenty of range of motion there, and then your normal six scale uh, rotating joint there at the ankles. 
Um, guys, I'm pretty stoked with this. I love the high gloss, love everything about this. I love the little details of the dirt and the grime and everything. So I think the next thing, obvious thing we gotta do, other than go ahead and getting a second one of these, uh, is uh, pose them up and uh, see what it looks like. All right, guys, so first look at this guy, just pose up. I did use that hand we were just talking about uh, to uh, throw the rifle on his shoulder because I honestly thought that was the best use of that particular hand. But look at this guy. He is, uh, he's pretty glorious. You can see how the light just bounces off that high gloss black paint and uh, it's, it's quite fantastic. So if you are a Stormtrooper fan, if you like just collecting troopers, obviously this is not one you wanna pass on. I don't know how many of these they made. And obviously they made, they knew there was a secondary market for this, so they decided to make some more figures. Uh, but this right here is, uh, is, is not really one you wanna pass on. If there was a trooper from the Mandalorian uh, that you were considering getting, whether it be the Remnant Trooper, uh, Incinerator Trooper, or this guy, I would pick this guy. Honestly, I would pick this guy. It's just, it's too unique. It's too awesome. I mean, I like the Remnant Trooper. Don't get me wrong, and I like the uh, Incinerator Trooper. But this right here is way cooler than both of those combined, in my opinion. I mean, just look at the detail on this thing. It's the feet are awesome with the little uh, weathering detail, the high gloss paint, and just shelf presence galore. I mean, just so much, so much shelf presence. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of this one? Were you happy that they re-released it? Um, and did you pick up one, two, or how many of these should I pick up? Um, but we're gonna go ahead and break out a couple more figures, have some fun posing this guy like we do, and uh, see what we can come up with. Before we did any crazy poses, I wanted to just show you the difference between the Mandalorian Death Trooper Grunt and then the Death Trooper Specialist Deluxe on the right. So main difference is gonna be in this chest region where he doesn't have all these uh, obviously the pauldron and then all these little packets. So you got the shoulder uh, cargo packets things going on there. And then you've got all the uh, weapons, uh, reload kit, the thermal detonators, all that kind of stuff going on. He is a very bulky figure. So between the two, the grunt, honestly, is is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, because at the uh, additional attachments that come on with the Specialist Deluxe definitely hinder articulation range of motion a little bit. Uh, the pauldron is cool, and I think this would make sense to have a Specialist Deluxe up front, two grunts in the back, uh, but whichever ones you have, I mean, they're all pretty awesome whether or not you can get the Specialist Deluxe or not, uh, but they both look quite fantastic, and I think a third one would look even better. Now that we've added uh, another figure in here, and I think this display looks flipping awesome. Death Trooper Mando on your left, and uh, Krennic's right, and the Death Trooper Specialist Deluxe on uh, Krennic's left and your right. This looks fantastic. Now, honestly, that Krennic, how about that pose, guys? That's pretty good, right? I kind of dig that, but let's take a close look at, at Krennic if you guys want to uh, get some pose ideas. Uh, that portrait is just unflipping believable. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he's cool. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I did throw uh, the long, this is one of the rifle blasted, and this thing is super long. That does not come with the, uh, the Mandalorian uh, Death Trooper. So kind of cool to have separate ones from there. But uh, yeah, and if you're gonna display these guys, these, are, these aren't like your dynamic stormtroopers that are doing crazy crap these are guys that just walk into town people look at them and go oh crap i'll do whatever the heck you tell me to do that that's what these guys are and man they look good displayed just like that can't wait till we get moff gideon another reason to get more death troopers moff gideon's coming in like next year sometime so all right so i figured the best way to do this would be to show you all the troopers from the mandalorian I mean, maybe somebody's interested in that. I don't know. I am. Uh, Incinerated Trooper right there looking amazing. Remnant Trooper. Funny story, as I was setting this up, they all fell over. So that was awesome. There's your Heavy Mando with actually a Sideshow Sand Trooper with six kill Grogu. There's your Shore Trooper, which probably going to see another release of that very soon. Maybe even tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, there's your Death Trooper Specialist Deluxe. And then there's your, uh, your Mando uh, Death Trooper right there. Beskar Mando and the OG uh, Durastil Mando coming up around. So this is what we currently have in the Mandalorian lineup. I don't think I'm missing anything. I think I've got them all here, even you know some extras. Uh, but uh, this this lineup's looking quite fantastic. 
as these guys spin around. Woo! So I did actually have these guys in a little better poses until they all fell over. And that was that was somewhat frustrating, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. Uh, but check out that heavy Mando. Dang, if you did check out that video, guys, holy crap, that guy is, Look at him compared to the Shore Trooper. Dang. And then here's your Shore Trooper next to your Death Trooper. Look at that size difference. It's crazy. That's a crazy size difference. So guys, definitely pick you up a Death Trooper. And yes, as predicted, I'm gonna get another one because you know, they just, they look that good. And I don't wanna be paying secondary market prices when they eventually do sell out uh, of stock here in the States. So uh, yeah, pretty stoked for that. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Uh, six scale news coming up soon. We got, oh man, so many videos, unboxings, just, it's ridiculous. But subscribe, join the Facebook group if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts down below. What's your favorite release from the Mandalorian line so far this year uh, from Hot Toys? And uh, let me know your thoughts on Death Trooper. We'll catch you guys later. If you haven't already subscribed, do so. As always, click what you like. See you next time.